Welcome back. It's the Flow Friday Sports Show on Flow FM. Time to get stuck into the Northeastern Footy League results from the weekend. Andrew Mitchell's on the line with me to assist. How are you going, Andrew? Yeah, going well. Beautiful day out there. It certainly is, and uh, it was a beautiful day for, well, four of the eight teams on the weekend, as is the way footy goes. You get four winners, four losers, and there were some uh, very exciting results on the weekend. I'm eager to hear about all of them, but none more so than the derby between North Clare and South Clare. South getting the upset, 8-14-62 over North Clare, 8 9 57. Yeah, no, that's right. Obviously, South came to play and uh, upset uh, the uh, third place, North Clare. I guess it might be the loss that North need uh, to reset them to run into the finals. Uh, I'm pretty sure Paul will be hoping that that's the shake-up they need to yeah, roll into the finals now and understand where they're at. Absolutely. So not really any ladder ramifications for North Clare. They're a fair way off uh, BSR and the Southern Saints on uh, top and second, and there's still a couple of games clear of the Hawks in fourth, but yeah, you're right, might be the loss they needed to have, but uh, for South Clare, just their third win of the year, and I'm sure that one will be the sweetest of the lot. Uh, also a pretty sweet win for the BSR Tigers, first team to crack the double ton this year, 31 goals, 17, 203 over Blythe Snowtown, three straight, 18, what a win by the Tigers. Yeah, no, that's right, no, they just keep rolling on, uh... I think it was, to, what was it, 12, 12 from Ashley Bruce and maybe five from uh, and Alex Morgan back from uh, West Adelaide. So, uh, yeah, just really starting to put their uh, game plan together and roll into finals. Spot on, five from Kyle Blessing as well, but Ashley Bruce, 12 goals. Is that is that the first double-digit haul for the year? I think he kicked 10 earlier in the year, so no, not for him and not for, the, yeah, not for North Eastern. All right, so he might be uh, might be looking towards a pretty large total for the year. That is a remarkable effort, 12 goals. And, well, it was 15-11, 101 to two straight 12 at half time. So uh, they had 101 in the first half, 102 in the second half. The Tigers, very consistent scoring there. And, uh, yeah, nearly had the 100-point lead at half time. Nearly had the 200-point lead by full time. But... I don't think they'll be too upset falling short of the 200 uh, margin. I think they'll be pretty happy with a 185-point win. Uh, So they're going along very nicely, as are the Southern Saints, who had a big win of their own over the Hawks, really stamping their authority over uh, the Hawks, who are going to be playing finals as well, you would think. 18-14, 122 to 5-8, 38. Yeah, no, that's right. Obviously a top two side versus a top four side there. And I guess that just goes to the split between the top two and the net rest. So, um, yeah, a bit of Southern Saints keep uh, keeping on. And uh, RSMU are going to have to do better than that if they're going to be a force in the finals. As per usual, a family affair for the Saints. Blake Launer and Dustin Launer with four goals apiece. Uh, dominant as we've become so used to seeing. But it was only a three-point lead at quarter time. 2-4-16 to 2-1-13. So uh, it, it was a bit of a slow start, but they certainly got going, the Saints. Yeah, no, that's right. No, once they got on top, they obviously put the squeeze on them and uh, yeah, then put it on the scoreboard. All right, and it was a pretty tight game between Min Man and BBH. The Eagles on the road getting the win 13-8-86 to BBH 9-17-71, who might have been able to get on top if they'd kicked a little bit straighter, but uh, Min Man come away with that win. Yeah, no, Min Man got away with one there, I think. Uh, if, yeah, as you said, if BBH had kicked straight, they would have had them under a lot of pressure and uh, could have stolen the win, but that's, that's not the way football works, so... Yeah, Min Man take the win and grab the two points and hopefully roll on into this week and uh, see how they go and, uh, yeah, keep their final chances alive, I'd say. So Min Man 5-7 and seven for the year. They're just one game and pretty significant percentage behind the Hawks in fourth who are on 6-6. Six and six. So uh, with four rounds to play, they're certainly right around the mark. Min Man... Let's see tomorrow what they can muster up. They're playing South Clare, and it is a home game, so it's a really important game here for Minman. Yeah, no, that's right. Obviously, uh, before last week, you'd expect Minman to win it, but South Clare coming in off of a bit of form. Now they've won three. Uh, yeah, that's good for the comp, uh, the association, having those lower sides competitive and winning side games. So it'll be a tight game, I'd suspect, but I'm thinking Minman will just get over the line. And we've also got an interesting clash between BBH and Blythe Snowtown. Just uh, four wins between them for the season and a really good opportunity for both sides here to get another one on the board. 
Yeah, no, that's for sure. And I think they play a couple more, or once more after this yet. So one of those sides is uh, going to possibly end up with a couple more wins or they could split the difference and, uh, yeah, both have reasonable years even though they've been down the bottom. And we just spoke about the uh, distance between the top two teams and the next two teams. It'll be interesting tomorrow to see just how big that gap is because we've got 1v4 and 2v3 tomorrow. BSR Tigers hosting the RSMU Hawks. Yeah, no, I don't think there'll be any surprises here. I think BSR will just uh, get the job done. Uh, RSMU, obviously, after last week, will be a bit shell-shocked after the uh, game against Southern Saints, but you never know. Maybe their coach will razz them up and find something from them. Sometimes it's just the big loss you need to have, but uh, I think you're right. The BSR Tigers are looking very close to unstoppable at the moment. Having said that, they do have one loss for the year, so they're not completely unstoppable. We'll see what happens in that one. And it should be an interesting one between North Clare hosting the Southern Saints as well. Uh, 2v3 here. And North Clare, they are going to be fired up after that loss last week, surely. Yeah, no, that's right. You'd expect them to bounce back. And if they've got any uh, hopes of competing in the finals, these are the games they've got to really uh, put some effort into and uh, respond after last week's loss. And uh, can they get a win over Southern Saints? I doubt it, but it'll be interesting to see how they perform. All right, a very good slate of games for round 13 in the Northeastern Footy League. Still four rounds to go until finals, so there's plenty still to play out. Enjoy the sunshine tomorrow, Andrew, and enjoy all the action. Good luck to everyone taking the field in Northeastern Footy. We'll chat to you next Friday, Andrew. Thank you. Will do. No worries at all. Cheers.